forget to Francois Botha. We have two fights on tap for you this evening. We begin with Jorge Casas versus Amazbek Ramkulov, presented by Miller High Life. Four rounds of action from the lightweight division. And there is Jorge Casas, the Las Vegas fighter. He's actually uh, from Cuba. He just moved to Las Vegas recently, and he is making his professional debut here this evening against Amazbek Ramkulov. He comes in at 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighed in at 134 pounds. He has a record of 2 and 0 oh as he steps into the ring here this evening with only one knockout. And Max, as we look here high above ringside at the Fremont Street Experience, what are we expecting here from Ramkulov, the Olympian from 2000? You know, Ramkulov, there, there, there are a couple of guys at lightweight right now, more than a couple, Ricardo Williams and Miguel Cotto and uh, Francisco Bajado, uh, Abdulayev. They're guys that the boxing industry is buzzing about right in this weight division. Well, Ramkulov, they're not buzzing about yet, but they're whispering about him. And the whispers Obey are that he's very good. Time. He has an impressive showing right here on national TV and introduces himself to the American public impressively. Suddenly okay, those whispers turn into a buzz okay. and he's a player in, these, in the mix of up and coming prospects. Well, he has 230 amateur here, fights, okay, a record of 205 and 25. Okay. Meanwhile, the guy across from him, Casas, is making his professional debut. Is this guy taking on more than he could pretty much, or bite more than he can chew in, in, by, uh, from a culinary standpoint there? <laughs> you know, uh, a Cuban amateur, with an extensive amateur background, knows what he's doing. They had the best uh, amateur boxing program in the world, of course, because Cuba's a communist country. They have their best fighters fighting amateur, uh, so they're very successful. But a lot of Cuban amateurs are, are in many ways already professional fighters, at least over short distances, and this is a four-round fight. And as we begin uh, the bout scheduled for four rounds, you can see immediately that Casas comes out with a little bit of an awkward style, jumping in and out very active here early on in Ramkulov. A more seasoned fighter, you can tell, even though he's a young professional, just taking his time and sizing his opponent up. Pass, as you can see, is an awkward southpaw. Taking some, I don't know, I think unnecessary chances. Remember when Ali came out against George Foreman, heavily favored, favored Foreman, in their fight in uh, Zaire. The first thing Ali did was take the fight right to him and throw a right hand just to let him know, let, let his presence be felt off the bat. And it looks like, not to compare these guys to Ali and Foreman, but it looks like Casas tried to do that here. Try, tried to show Ramkulov right from the get-go, I'm here, I'm, you know, make his presence felt. Well, an interesting story behind Casas came to Las Vegas about seven years back via Panama. He had originally tried to escape Cuba on a boat with 35 other people. Coast Guard, nice right there by Ramkulov. He's got Casas in trouble. Now he's trying to escape those right hands all by himself. He's trying to escape Ramkulov here. Stop. But I was saying very quickly here, it was in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. And basically, he said he needed to get to the United States to realize his dream, and that was to be a professional boxer because, of course, with the embargo on Cuba, in order to get out and make yourself a career as a professional athlete, you have to defect, Max. You know, this is not an easy pro fight. A guy who Rankulov probably hasn't seen, doesn't know much about, a southpaw, a guy with an extensive amateur background. Uh, it, it's the kind of fight that maybe you don't love in a four-round fight for a guy. It's not that it's pro debut, but it's in, in his third professional fight, Ramkulov. He's still a baby professionally. And you can see Casa sizing up with that left, toying with him in his professional debut, trying to give a show to the fans here at Fremont Street as well as the viewers at home. You see Ramkulov a, a couple of things uh, early on. He's pretty economical with his punches, places his shots well, pretty accurate. Looks pretty relaxed. Does he remind you of that other Russian fighter, Kostazu? Uh, too early to tell. Yes. Too early. And oh, but he's got the power of Zumax as he throws him back with the right. Four. And, and that, that's the second five, or third time that he's caught Kostas clean seven, like that. That time, eight, right on the button. And it was more, more. I mean, he was, he, he was a clean shot, but it was a balanced shot. Kostas was squared up, and so he went down from it. Well, if you have no foot in back of your front foot, there's nothing to stop you from going down when there's some force to, to, to your face. Kostas and Ramkulov. Battle to the end of the first. Kostas survives. He'll have to survive one more round. Coming up. How does your gray beard or mustache reflect on you? Man, I look old. 
Get Vitamin Enriched Just for Men Gel. The Rejuvenator, specially made to penetrate coarse gray in five minutes and match your hair. The Rejuvenator, Just for Men Gel. Remember those great barbershop shaves? Well, thanks to the Conair Hot Lather Machine, with the touch of one hand, you can get great old hot lather. Just insert a can of your favorite shaving cream. Nothing softens your beard and soothes your skin like this. The Conair Hot Lather Machine. Coming up, it's a heavyweight night for Tuesday Night Fights. We will hear from Don King as well as Mike Tyson. We'll step into the gym and train with Francois Botha. And in our main event, the White Buffalo is back on the move as Botha takes on David the Boss, Bostis. But one man that has to get on the move here in round number two, Jorge Casas, Max. Now, see, when you say squared up, it wasn't exactly like he was trying to be squared, but when the punch landed, he was. What that means is his feet are together and both of them no, no no foot is in back of the other one they're both on the same plane and they're both facing the opponent that means you're square to your target not only do you present them a larger target but if you get hit you fall backwards there's nothing bracing you there's no back foot bracing you and that's why he went down when people say a balance shot or he squared up and he went down that's what they mean you mentioned Costa Zoo before Costa Zoo was a real prodigy as an amateur by his third or fourth pro fight he was beating guys like Juan Laporte and, and doing some very impressive things. Uh, Rankulov was not the level of amateur that Costa Zoo was. At least did not create the same buzz, although you do hear insiders whispering about him. Well, we see that the power that dropped Costas at the end of the first round may have really not affected him that much because he's back in here in round number two immediately and not trying to stay away, but there's a nice punch to the body there. Yeah, I thought Rankulov, the best punch he landed all round, actually, was the punch, the straight right hand that staggered Casas earlier in the round. I thought that was actually a better shot, but Casas wasn't square, so he didn't go down. There he goes again, down low and back up high, and it's impressive to see how he goes with that right low and then comes right up with the right. He, he's, he, you see Rankulov's not the quickest fighter, not slow, but he, he's not at these blazing fast, but he places his shots very well. Had, no, measures his distance very well, picks his spots well. Doesn't he's very economical? Doesn't waste and he floors him back. Right to be over. Two, three, he sends him four, back. Casas is on five, the floor. Six, Tony Weeks applying seven, the count. Now let's eight, see what kind of finisher Rankulov is. Well, there have been a lot of entertainers that have made their professional debut in Las Vegas. Some good, some bad for Casas. It was not a great night. Well, it turns out the referee was the finisher. But Ramkolov is a guy who, uh, he, this was a very impressive performance. Well, we'll recap this fight coming up in just a moment. Stay tuned. We're coming to you live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Your goal. Your goal. is closer than you think. Introducing the Proform 995 SEL treadmill. Follow the iFit 12-week workout program and you'll get results guaranteed. iFit gives you professional instruction and feedback. During your target heart rate zone. High energy music and motivational coaching. Keep up that energy, you're doing great. You'll get professional nutrition advice and interactive workout programs that automatically adjust your fitness equipment. Okay, now let's take it uphill. With Proform and iFit, you're just 12 weeks away from a better body, guaranteed, or your money back. Wow. Get the Proform 995 SEL with iFit technology today for as little as $35 per month. Call now and receive iFit's 12 weeks to a better body absolutely free. You'll get four interactive workout CDs, instructional video, and nutrition guide. A $150 value free just for ordering. This man may not bowl many strikes. But don't you think he's not still at the top of his game? His scores are not... Along with the Sports Network and Showtime Showbox. These bouts are sanctioned and approved by the Ohio Athletic Commission. Paul Amadio is your executive director and Tom Huff is your commissioner. Your judges for this...